Horizon Forbidden West has some really amazing early items and upgrades that you definitely don't want to pass on. Most of them are easily missable but will provide huge benefits even later in the game. And of course, in this video we're gonna take a look at what's possibly one of the best armor sets you can get very early in the game and a lot of other cool weapons and upgrades, so let's begin. Let's begin with this really awesome Nora Champion armor that you can get quite early in the game and of course it brings some really nice benefits benefits to concentration and stealth range and especially so you get this from a side mission called the bristle bags and you can acquire this very early on when you get to chain scrape but you won't be able to finish it until you also finish the main quest called embassy but once you're done with that you just have to help the town people out with a small little errand that might bring you to a nearby enemy settlement and once you're done with that you can come back and at the end of that reward you're going to notice that there's a new armor set in your inventory which is the Nora Champion. Now the reason this is so amazing early on is because this gives you plus to concentration and also a little bit into stealth range and it also seems to buff your melee damage quite a bit in there too. You will definitely want to also fully upgrade this to rank 3, it still helps me even like past level 17 so it's definitely worth getting. And you will definitely want a lot more concentration, that is why in the early stages of the game I focused on that hunter skill tree, specifically on deep concentration and these other passives right here that will give you the possibility to slow down time for a lot longer than before so you can aim enemy parts a lot easier and you can pretty much spam an entire arsenal against them before that even goes on cooldown and that is even before level 15. Now there's a second item and possibly one of the best early on weapons and possibly even like later on in the game which is the prototype spy thrower you get this from the side mission called a beggar boom which you can again get in chain scrape onto the western side of it right here almost outside of the camp and what you have to do is to just run an errand nearby collect some machine parts and once you're back at these two ladies they're going to give you that really awesome spike thrower that you can go ahead and equip right away and just like what the name implies you throw it at an enemy it sticks into them and after a couple of seconds it explodes for some really high damage it can totally disable parts but of course you have to be careful at enemies weaknesses and see if they are actually getting a ton of damage from this but usually in the early stages this is extremely beneficial and especially against some of the bigger challenges it will definitely help a ton but let's keep on going let's talk about another really interesting item that you can get and this time around it's more of utility so to speak so you get it really close to the relic ruin right here just southeast of chain scrape and you basically have to like kind of help a couple of NPCs that are dealing with some nearby machines and once you're done with that and with the helping they will give you a recipe as well as to smoke bombs and from this point on you can craft smoke bombs which are some of the most useful items that I have used in combat as soon as you use a smoke bomb you're going to completely disengage and disorient any enemy around you and even like outside of its area right now it definitely seems to affect enemies in a very wide range and then you can use your environment to your advantage to come in with stronger attacks from stealth so definitely pay attention to that but let's keep on going with one final item that you will definitely want to get since you get this for free so this is going to be the shock warrior bow that you get from the hunting grounds characters right here on this side of the map just southeast of chain scrape you don't have to do anything special just go ahead go through the dialogue and then speak with this character the second time and then he will give you a shock warrior bow for free and of course also open up a new set of challenges that give additional rewards and also count for a very important achievement but warrior bows in general are really strong in this game and especially the shock one will be very helpful early on since there are a lot of enemies with weakness towards shock damage and even more so some of them can be set up for chain reactions to deal really high damage in an aoe to other other targets that might be nearby. Now if you want to make this weapon even more amazing you will definitely want to couple this with the warrior spread shot that you can find in the warrior skill tree as this is going to give you the possibility to now fire five arrows at the same time instead of just one and it will just cost stamina. So no you won't actually consume five of these shots just one of them but you can shoot five arrows at the same time. It's especially amazing against some of the tougher challenges that might be harder to 
set up chain reactions for, so definitely something that I recommend doing. Now, as you progress in the game, you will notice that your inventory size simply won't suffice for the amount of stuff that you will collect, and more important, for the amount of stuff that you will consume during combat, especially when it comes to healing or just having enough arrows at your disposal. So head over to any nearby workbench and upgrade your resource pouch as well as your quaver, especially that quaver. And if you don't have enough materials to make these upgrades, you can simply create a job for those, and especially for the first starting levels, they will be quite close to the starting area, so you can go ahead and complete them right away. And they also seem to be quite inexpensive, which means you're going to get a huge benefit by just playing for like 10 minutes until you get those materials and then like have enough to fully upgrade them. Now, getting these items was all nice, but let's further buff their damage to insane levels. And of course, I want to focus on Valor Surges a little bit. There's 12 of these in total in the game, but there are a few early on selections that are way better than anything else. One of them is the Power Shots Valor Surge. You get this, it's the second one in the Hunter Skill Tree, and it increases your damage with ranged weapons by a huge amount. In this case, it's going to power up about 4 Power Shots by up to 170%. And that buff is definitely noticeable. Now you're gonna be able to pretty much one-shot parts of enemies and just deal a ton of damage against enemies that might have been a little bit more difficult beforehand. By the way, this fully synergizes with the triple notch, which is another ability that I definitely recommend in the same skill tree. This is going to be a weapon technique, so you will require stamina to activate this, but it will let you load up to three arrows and shoot three arrows at the same time instead of just one. And yes, you can couple this with the power shots to deal even more extra damage, like it's going to absolutely blast enemies away, if not even one shot, depending on their level and your current items. Now, in the warrior skill tree is where it becomes a little bit more interesting because melee combat in Horizon Forbidden West is much better than in the first game, and there are some really awesome combos that you can unlock right away. The one I recommend just for the wow factor and just how much it makes your gameplay a lot more fun is the aerial slash jump off. So you start with R1, just tap it, and then hold R2 to use your target as a catapult to throw yourself in the air and then follow up with a bow attack. It essentially combines both melee as well as range, and it can be amazing against some of those human enemies, especially like some of the tougher lieutenants that can be quite annoying. You can use them like that and then deal huge damage if you're pulling this off properly. And just for the fact that it looks awesome, I recommend just taking it because it makes the gameplay a lot more fun and it's one of the most flashy abilities right now in the game, at least in my opinion. Now, if you reach to this point, you're likely going to also unlock the Critical Boost, which is another Valor Surge and quite powerful even early on. And yes, it could be a good alternative, maybe even earlier than the Power Shots, as it also buffs up your damage by crazy levels. Well, in this case, your Critical Hit Chance, Critical Hit Damage and Critical Strike Damage. Obviously, it will not be as good as the Power Shots, but you get it much earlier, so if you're doing all of these upgrades in the Warrior Skill Tree anyway, might as well just use it. Now, from this point on, it's just a matter of preference. Survivor is obviously one of the skill trees that has the most importance as you progress into the game because you will need a lot of heals and you will need a lot of medicine and a lot of herbs, so you will definitely want to heavily invest into this, but maybe after decking out your hunter and your warrior skill trees. Infiltrator is also really awesome, I only went with like these three right here since they provide additional damage from stealth and also additional damage to body parts. And of course, you're going to do quite a lot of that in the beginning, you're going to use vegetation to your advantage, and combining these damage sources with the other bonuses I was talking about, you can immediately start the combat at your advantage with all of the parts that you will be breaking before enemies even get a chance to react. But this is it with today's video, of course, if you want to stay tuned for a lot more Horizon Forbidden West content, definitely make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and activate that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.